In this video, we're going to go over a pretty well-known riddle, um, and I'm going to call it the water jug riddle, although this is certainly not any official name of it. And, and the premise of the riddle is, okay, you have this jug of water right here, and it's empty, and it's five gallons. It holds exactly five gallons. And this jug down here holds exactly three gallons. The question is, if you have um, a hose, right, with an unlimited supply of water coming from that hose, you can take as much as you want, how do you measure out exactly four gallons? What do you do? Um, and, you know, one, one premise of the riddle is that the four gallons can go into a separate bucket or whatever you want. And, and we'll say that there's a, a bucket over here, and your goal is to fill this bucket with four gallons. How would we say that? The trick is, of course, that it has to be exactly four, and it can't be even slightly off. So the question is, what do we do? Um, and furthermore, are there more efficient ways to do it um, and less efficient ways to do it? And if so, what is the most efficient way? So in this video, I'm going to try and show you the most efficient way I know of getting exactly four gallons from these two jugs. And if you want to try it on your own, just pause the, pause the video and come back to it, um, because Spoiler alert, I'm about to go into how I solve it. So here's what I might do. Um, what I might do first of all, in one approach, is to fill up the five gallon jug. And I fill it up all the way, and then I pour that into the three gallon jug. I fill this three gallon jug up with all the water that's in the five gallon jug. Well, what happens then? Well, that means that there'll be two gallons left in the five gallon jug. Right, because the other three gallons from it are in the three gallon jug. So first I would fill the five gallon jug. I would empty it, empty the five, I'll call it, into the three gallon jug. And now I want to keep track of what's happening here. Now there's two gallons in the five gallon jug. And what can I what can I do next? Well, next I'm going to pour those two gallons into the three gallon jug. So those two gallons here, pour it into the three gallon jug. And I guess I should say, of course, first I would empty the three gallon jug. And then I would fill it with the two gallons that are left in the five gallon jug. So then I would pour what remains of five, which is two gallons, into the three gallon jug. And now we're actually quite close. So now these two gallons have moved from the five gallon jug into the three gallon jug. And what do we do next? Well what's very useful now is the three gallon jug is missing exactly one gallon. So if you think about one and five and four, what we can do is fill up the five gallon jug all the way, right? Fill this jug up. And now I'm going to pour whatever I can into the three gallon jug. Why? Because right now it's filled up with two gallons and what's left is one gallon of space. So if I fill up the five gallon jug and I pour it into the three, it will fill up that one gallon and the five gallons that were originally in the jug here will now only be four and I get exactly what I need to pour into the four gallon jug over here or the bucket of water I should say. If it was exactly four gallons, then this would be easy, right? You just fill this barrel up. But now once I pour the two into three, I write these steps down. Then I fill the five. And then I empty one gallon from the five into the three-gallon jug. So going back, fill up the five-gallon jug. Pour it into the three-gallon jug, right? And there'll be two gallons left in the five-gallon jug. Then I empty the three-gallon jug and pour these two gallons down here into this five gallon jug. Okay, now there's two gallons resting in the three gallon jug. I refill up the five gallon jug all the way now. And I pour exactly one gallon into the three gallon jug, which is what's remaining, and the four gallons are remaining here in this jug, the larger one on the left. Now there's another way to solve it, but I think it takes more steps. So I like this solution. But I suggest you try other ways of, of getting four gallons and seeing, is this way the most efficient? All right, hope you enjoyed.